Good day, Grade 11s. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at applying our reduction formula of 360 plus or minus theta. But to be honest, I've also snuck in some questions with the reduction formula of 180 plus or minus and some trig IDs, just to put it all together. So let's look at some examples. It says tan squared 210 degrees minus bracket 1 plus cos of 120 degrees times sine squared 405 degrees. Okay, let's not panic just yet. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to draw our little cast diagram. So it's all stations to Cape Town and we're going to think about what these can be. So let's see, this is tan squared, 210 can be rewritten as 180 plus 30 degrees. Okay, grade 11s, I'm always going to try and convert everything first to the 180 lines and 180 plus or minus if it's bigger than 90 degrees and if it's at not an acute angle. And if that doesn't work, then I'm going to try the 360 plus or minus. Okay, and at that point, everything should work because that's all we've covered so far. Okay, minus bracket 1 plus cos and 120 can be rewritten as 180 minus. 60 closed okay and then we've got sine squared and this can be rewritten as 360 plus 45 360 plus 45 so then we can simplify this so this becomes tan squared of 180 plus 30 now 180 plus Theta is over here in the third quadrant and tan is positive, so this becomes tan squared of just 30 degrees minus, we're going to make this a big bracket, 1 and then cos of 180 minus 60. Now cos of 180 minus 60, this is in this quadrant over there and cos is negative, so that becomes minus cos of 60, okay, times by sine squared of 360 plus 45. Now 45 is in the first quadrant, and remember what I told you is that 360 plus means that we just go all the way back around to that angle there. So therefore it stays in that first quadrant, so therefore that's positive, so that becomes sine squared of 45 degrees. So let's just multiply out this bracket here. Um, okay, so let's do that. So it becomes tan squared 30 minus 1 times by sine squared 45 becomes minus sine squared 45. Minus times a minus is a plus, so it becomes plus cos 60, and then sine squared 45. And you'll see here that we've got these angles 30, 45, and 60. And what do we have to do? Yes, you guessed it, we have to do our special triangles. And our special triangles are 60, 30, and then we've got 2, 1, and root three and the spe second special triangle that we've got goes 45 45 1 1 root 2. Right now we're going to apply our special triangles we're going to apply them. So tan squared 30 means that whatever tan 30 is we're going to square it. So tan we what do we need for this we need so so tan is opposite over adjacent. So tan of 30 is going to be opposite over adjacent. So it's 1 over root 3, all squared, minus sine squared 45. So I'm going to put this in brackets as well. Sine of 45, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So if I just choose this 45, it really doesn't matter which one I do. It's going to be opposite over hypotenuse, which is 1 over root 2, all squared, plus cos 60. Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's 1 over 2, 1 over 2 times by, times by sine squared 45, which is then going to be again 1 over root 2, 
all squared. So let's see what this works out to be. Obviously grade 11s, this would be an example where they say don't use a calculator. Otherwise we'd have just shoved this in a calculator and got an answer and we'd have got no marks. So let's do this properly. So it goes 1 over root 3 squared. Root 3 times root 3 is just 3, so it's 1 over 3. Minus 1 over root 2 squared is 1 over 2. Plus this is 1 over 2 times by 1 over root 2 times 1 over root 2 is just 1 over 2. So this becomes a third minus a half plus 1 times 1 is 1 and 2 times 2 is 4. So our common denominator grade 12s is, I mean grade 11s is 12. 3 goes into 12 4 times, 4 minus 1 is 4, minus 2 goes into 12 6 times, 6 times 1 is 6, plus 4 goes into 12 3 times, 3 times 1 is 3, so we've got 6 plus, we've got 4 plus 3 7 minus 6 and we end up with 1 12th. Right, not too bad here, it looks scary and if you struggle with that go through it again and you'll understand it. Let's look at this one, then we've got tan of 180 minus theta, I told you I was going to sneak it in, cos of 180 plus theta times by sine of 360 plus theta divided by tan of 360 minus theta. So the first thing I'm going to do is put in my cast diagram, all stations to Cape Town and this obviously is your 180 minus theta, this is your 180 plus theta, this is going to be your 360 minus theta and your 360 plus theta remember we just said goes all the way around. So tan of 180 minus theta is in this quadrant and tan is negative so this is minus tan of theta Sine of 360 plus theta, remember we said that it's the same as if there was a theta up here, we went all the way back around there, so therefore this is the same as sine theta all over cos of 180 plus theta, this is in the third quadrant and in the third quadrant the only thing that's positive is tan, so this becomes negative cos theta and tan of negative of 360 minus theta is in the fourth quadrant and tan is negative in this fourth quadrant so it becomes negative tan theta and do you see we can immediately go cancel cancel life is good then we've got sine theta over cos theta and a plus divided by minus so plus divided by minus is a minus sine theta over cos theta and grade 11's by now you know that sine theta over cos theta is just tan theta. How nice was that? Right, let's look at something slightly more complicated, do not panic. Okay, so let's have a look. We again want to relate everything to 180 plus minus theta and 360 plus or minus theta and I'm again just going to draw in my cast. Okay, so cos of 315, do you agree that's the same as cos of 360 minus 45 degrees? Grade 11s, again remember that I'm trying to get everything to relate to either 180 minus theta, 180 plus theta, 360 minus theta, or 360 plus theta if that's what it happens to be. Okay, I want somehow for this to relate to that. Okay. Cos of 405, we've already spoken about this type of example before, is going to be 360 plus 45 plus sine 45, right, and then this one is sine of 180 minus 45, all over, all over, sure it's a long line, sine of 750. So let's think about this. Do you agree that that is sine of 360 plus 360 which gets me to 720 plus 30? Okay, right so let's sort this out. Cos of 360 minus 45 is in the fourth quadrant. Cos is positive. So this is just cos of 45 degrees. Cos of 360 plus 45, remember it goes all the way around so that just stays the same so that is cos of 45 degrees plus sine 45 degrees stays the same 
and then life is really good because sine of 180 minus 45 is in our second quadrant therefore sine is positive and it's just the size of 45 degrees so that's sine of 45 degrees okay and then let's draw this line and let's look at the denominator now grade 11s let's think about this if I go around if I told you that if I had a theta here and then I said I went around 360 degrees plus the theta and I'd get it back there, does it matter that I go around another 360 degrees? No, it doesn't. It just means that I'm going around twice, which is kind of strange, but that's what it's doing. So therefore, this is exactly the same as saying sine of 360 plus 30, which is then again exactly the same as saying sine of 30. So do you see that what do we have now? We've got cos squared 45 plus sine squared 45 over sine 30. Now you could put these angles in your special triangles, the 45s, and you'd end up with something special. Or you could remember your identity, which we proved earlier. That said that sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals 1. So therefore this is just 1 over sine 30 degrees. So we still need a special triangle but this time we only need one of them. So our special triangle that we're going to be using is 60, 30, 2, 1, root 3. Grade elevens, you really need to learn these special triangles because if you get them wrong, you get the whole sum wrong. So please be careful with that. So then, let's have a look at it. Let me go back to my color that I was using. So this becomes 1 divided by sine 30. And there's a reason I'm writing it out like this. So it becomes 1 divided by sine. And remember sine, it's just Sokotoa up here. Sokotoa. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So in this case, we're looking at 30. So it's opposite over hypotenuse. So it's 1 over 2. But what do we do when we divide by fraction? We tip and times. So it becomes 1 times 2 over 1, which is just 2. How cool is that? And that's it, grade 11s. Please go practice, 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 and then do the assessment in the end of the section. Have a lovely day.